Hello YouTube, it's Detroit Borg and I've gotten a lot of requests following my previous video where I demonstrated the performance between 3G and Wi-Fi. Many wanted to know if the Wi-Fi on both iPads differed in any way. And the theory is that because the 3G iPad has a window at the top of the chassis, that reception may improve. So let's go ahead and try the same test again. This time we're going to launch Safari. And as I did in my previous video, I did clear the cache. So I want to do that again on the video so you see that. So I go to Settings. Go to Safari. Go to Clear Cache. Okay, so everything has been cleared. So both iPads are on equal footing, and I should note that both iPads also have the exact same content on them. So let's go ahead and launch Safari. So they load at nearly exactly the same rate. Once again, nearly the same speed. Again, very close. A little speed difference there, but uh, the Wi-Fi model was faster than 3G. Now that we've tested web pages, let's go to apps again. Let's go to Weatherbug. So they're pretty identical. Let's try TweetDeck. So I see my feeds updating. Nearly identical. So very close. There's a slight edge on the 3G model. So let's do my VNC client again, see what happens. So again, pretty close. Actually, the Wi-Fi was slightly faster. Again, let's do TwitPad. The 3G was slightly faster. So it's turning out to be pretty give and take. And let's do YouTube. Wi-Fi was slightly faster this time. This was slower to respond. Hello YouTube, it's the Chort Borg, and here we have my two... So very close, nearly identical. In fact, I can see the progress on the, on the Wi-Fi only model is slightly faster. So once again, that's Detroit Borg with a test of the Wi-Fi performance on the 3G and Wi-Fi only model. Conclusion, they're about the same. Again, thanks for watching.